Good morning, everyone. So you'll have to forgive me. It's been forever since I've done a video, but life has been a little crazy. So I am coming to you live from my parents' dining room in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Nice, beautiful, hot, humid Gulf Shores, Alabama. So I'm fresh faced. I already done all of my cleaning, prepping, used my la 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 first base primer already. So I'm all set and ready to go. And I tried this look out yesterday and um, I wanted to share it with you because I thought it turned out really, really good. Um, so yeah, so here I am all fresh. Ooh, I have to tell you something. So I have, um, I've been lying to you guys and I, I apologize. I have to tell you now, I have been telling you how much I liked the smell of the must do, but that it was a little too heavy for my face. Lies, just lies. I started using it love it my my tan skin which i thought was going to be too even more oily soaks it all up gives me a nice dewy look it's perfect so i do my two pumps of sotox my one drop of one drop wonder and one pump of must do and my face loves it. my face my neck my decollete love it so i've been lying to you i'm telling you now must do perfect so anyway so now i'm going to go into my easy summer look so i have my blender full it's already damp and I've already wrung it out and all that stuff. So I am just going to, um, like I said, it's a, it's a real natural summer, easy look that I'm going to go with today. I tried it out yesterday and I really liked it. Um, use minimal stuff. So we're going to focus a lot today on the trio. My favorite trio. You can tell how much I use it. So this is our finishing powder, our bronzer, and our number six glowing blush. So I'm going to use that pretty much everywhere. And I'll show you how much I love it. So I'm going to start out with um, my concealer just around my eyes to kind of clean that up a little bit. Sorry about my hair. I haven't done it anything. This is like my freshly slept on new haircut. So I'm going to do number two with the pointy end here and just go in around my eyes just to kind of get that prepped and ready to go. And look, you can see the difference already in my eyes. So I hope everyone's having a great summer. Like I said, I'm sorry I have not been on top of my videos. Ivy, if you're watching, I promise I will try better. All right, so we got, I'm going to just prep there a little bit. I got my little red spot on my nose here, so I'm just going to throw some number one on there to kind of, Cover that up. I'm going to look behind you here and see it's a little easier to see. All right, see, no more red spots. Beautiful. All right, and with my summer tan, I have moved all the way up to la our four. So take this spongy part here and the flat part of my blender full and just kind of put this all over. So this is an easy look, and it's also pretty quick. The Blenderful makes it pretty easy to get total coverage very quickly. So I keep going back and forth between whether or not I like this one more or if I like the buffer brush. I'm torn, but we're going to go with this one today. All right, so there we go. Already a face full of foundation all right and now we're going to get into i'm gonna i think i posted earlier this week about the concealers these puppies are amazing so we've got i don't know if you can see zero which is a great highlighter one which is great for the red two which is what i use around my eyes three four five and then there's actually a six which is oh darker than this one and people who use the concealers to contour a lot of times will use like the zero and the five or the six to do the contouring. I'm just going to use the one today to highlight around my eyes here a little bit. So we're just going to go back in with the tip of the blender full. All right, and we're just going to dab a bunch of white down here. It's going to look kind of silly at first, but I promise it'll come together once I blend. So we're going to go with the nice light concealer. So did everybody have a good fourth? I hope so. I had a great fourth. 
I love it down here. All right, so I got my nice light eyes. Just pop a little bit here on my forehead to highlight there. And down the nose, just a touch. All right, and then I'm gonna just kind of blend all that in with whatever was left over. And my blender brush, or my, my blender brush. What am I using? I'm using the blender full today. All right, see, that just kind of gives my eyes a nice highlight. A little bit of extra highlight. On my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow. So, so we got going so far. All right, and now we're going to get into kind of the fun stuff to do with my trio. So first of all, I'm just going to take my all over paste brush and set it with the white powder with the finishing or with the setting powder just to kind of give it a nice base for me to do everything else off of. Okay, so the foundation is set. And now I'm going to go ahead and use our pointy brush here, dip it into the bronzing, and kind of just do some highlight or some contouring under my cheekbone there. You can see, just kind of running that along under the cheekbone, it gives you a nice, nice line. I'm just a little bit. That's a good look. <laughs> Yay, finally a video. Tell Ivy I said hi. All right. So there we go. We got some nice color there. All right. So there's that step. And then I'm going to take the angle brush. And I'm going to go into the number six blushing. And just use that to kind of Highlight the top of my cheekbone. You can see it gives you a nice little glow there. So you can see you got the nice contouring underneath. I'm just going to kind of blend that out a little bit more. Okay, and then the highlight on top. So you got kind of a nice glowy happy look all right all right now is where we're going to go with some fun stuff on the eyes i'm actually going to start off with my eyebrows because they're looking a little crazy this morning i said hi oh hi ivy <laughs> all right so now i'm going to use my eyebrow pencil and i use the accorkable on my eyebrows and I'm going to look behind you because I don't want to totally jack up my brows here. And this will be just a nice little, I don't know how people don't do their brows. I don't know how I used to not do my brows. That's just craziness. All right, so we're just going to add a little color in there. Like I said, I used the accorkable on mine. One of the other things you can do is you can actually spray this with the um, finishing spray and that'll keep your eyebrows in place and but I didn't do that today I do it usually but I skipped it all right so we got some eyebrows on now look at the difference face no face mm. noise is going on on my phone sorry all right so now we do the other eyebrow and then I'm going to show you my easy natural summer eye look. Alright, so we're just finishing up here. Trying to fill all this in. So there we go. I got my brows on. Nice even. All right. So, oh, I thought I forgot something in my bedroom. 
So now we're gonna go with the nice and easy summer look. All right, so I'm just gonna take and go into the blushing again and put that all over my eyebrow or my eyelid. This is gonna just give it a nice shimmer glow. Can I tell you I'm so excited? The brushes are coming to be back in stock this week, so I finally I'm gonna get my all over shadow brush, my large shadow brush. I'm gonna get rid of this crummy one that I've been using. I'm very excited about that. So anyway, so this is just it's gonna give you a nice little bit of shimmer. Most of our shadows are matte, so I'm kind of a shimmer person. I like a little bit of shimmer, so this is kind of extra fun. All right, so it just gives you a nice base, a little bit of shimmer on your eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this little guy here, a little pointed blender brush, into the, um, the bronzer. And I'm just going to use that to go into the crease here, just to highlight a little bit. And it's going to end up giving just a nice, natural look on my eyes. So I've got a nice, happy, natural summer look. Just a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of contour. You see that? Look at that. So like I said, I tried this out yesterday and I felt it actually just gave a really nice kind of glow to my whole face without really looking like I had too much on, so it was kind of a fun, natural summer look here. Right, I'm going to behind here and make sure I got everything in place. Alright, there we go. And then, I'm just going to go in with this little, uh, what does it say, uh, like a little high, or, uh, like a buffer high highlighter thingy in the glowing, and I'm just going to pop some of this under my eyes just to give it a little bit of extra underneath there, just kind of very subtle. I like with makeup faces. <laughs> it's just going to just give a very subtle sheen under my eye there. So I said I'm going to go with a real natural look. So I'm not going to, actually not even going to use any under eye eyeliner. It just gives it a little bit of shimmer there. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and set my powder again. All right, and then I'm going to actually just go in with my eyeliner pen and just really, really tight on my... Um, on my lash line there. I don't want to make it look like I've got a lot of uh, eyeliner on. I just want to highlight uh, my my lash line a little bit. I'm just going to kind of run this along here just to make my lashes look a little thicker at the base. You see? Look at the difference there. Like I said, not looking like I got a whole lot of action going on, but just it's going to make my mascara look a little bit thicker when I get that on. All right, kind of difficult for me to do this with my left, my left eye. Hopefully I don't jack it up. Because I didn't bring the Q-tip with me to the dining room. All right, I'm going to pull my eye. Don't do it. See, that's what's great about this little super fine tip. You can really get it in there, or if you want to go heavier, you can press down a little more and get some of the stuff on the end, or the thicker part of the brush. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and set this. If that's my primer, I don't want to use that again. With my setting spray. Now let me tell you, like being down here in the heat, in the humidity, in the hot, my face is not melting. It's actually been sitting. The make the stuff these sprays have been keeping my makeup on unbelievably well um i haven't really had to go back and set it i haven't had to touch it up or any of that stuff so it's been really 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 great all right and then 
Oh, that's right. I'm going to put my mascara on. Oh, look, I got my whole Lauren's on. Hi, Lauren. I got my meadow. Hey, Jen. All right, so now we're just going to, I don't know if you guys can see me, I'm just going to put a light layer underneath there. Like I said, I'm just trying to go for a real natural look, so I'm not going to glam it out. Oops, I got a little... As you guys see my limelight blue, blue nails, which got those done yesterday. All right, let's see here. So yeah, so like I said, I'm not trying to do anything with my under eye there as far as um, just making it look nice and natural and highlighted. Oh, looks like I need to clean my brush. I got some goops on it. I don't have the new mascara tube yet because I haven't run out of this one. But same awesome formula, just a new fancy, fancy schmancy tube. Hi, Lauren. All right. So just a nice light layer, and you can see how using that thin line along my lashes just really kind of makes them look thicker, gives them a little more oomph. Hey, Karen. You guys are making me miss home. Not too much. I like it here. So I'm down here on the beach. All right. So there we go. We got one eye on. One eye finished. So talk to me. How's everybody's summer going? What are you guys up to? Miss me? Hmm. All right, and you can see how freaking fantastically amazing this mascara is. All right. So I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I keep trying to see if anyone's going to come out here. I'm just putting a little layer on top and then really working it through. Twisting it. And this is so exciting. You guys are watching me put mascara on. It's always difficult to come up with what to talk about on between products while I'm just doing the application. Oh, this one's kind of coming out funky. I'm trying to separate those out a little. Poke myself in the eye. All right, we're just gonna go with that. All right, not the best application, but I'll work on that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what I did just to keep my lips in that same natural kind of easy going. All right, so I'm gonna start out in the line with my dark nude because I love this pencil. And for anyone who's got this pencil, I think, Jen, I think you ordered one of these. When you put it on, don't put it on too. Don't raise it up too tall because you're going to end up breaking the whole thing off. So you just need a little bit, just enough to be able to get it on under your lips. And I do my whole lip with my liner. This is also enduring. But it gives just a nice base for whatever you're going to put on top of it, whether it's um, another lip color. Sorry, here. Another lip color. Just a... Uh, I got it here. Um, a gloss. It just gives you kind of a nice light base. I like pairing this with all the different glosses. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to do the Enduring Lip Color. Or the Enduring Lip Liner. And these go on so soft, they make your lips look great with one of our lipsticks. I have not talked too much about the lipsticks because I usually wear the Enduring, but I finally got all the lipsticks and I have to say, <laughs> I really like them. They go on really, really nice. And for people who don't like an Enduring, they are, um, they're great. They actually last really well. I blot it out and it lasts through drinking and eating. Um, obviously you are gonna have to reapply, it's a regular lip, but um, 
it's not really, um, it holds out really well. Yeah, so I'm going to, this one's called Femfire, number 200. Can you see that? There you are. Nope, upside down, sorry. 200. And it gives it just, it's a little bit of a corally nude look. And so then they go on really, really smooth, very hydrating. And then I have a tissue. I'm just going to blot that out a little bit. So you can see not a whole lot comes off. <laughs> just blot it out. And then you can see, I mean, it really does stay. So I just blot it out a couple times. I still have lots on my lips, but it's not really coming off. All right, so now I've got the Dark Nude Enduring Liner on, some Femfire number two, and now I'm going to put this really pretty light pink Wish on. Again, I love these blingy, super fun glosses. So I'm just going to pop some of this on. Ah, there it is. Finally got it. The fuzz. All right, there we go. So this is my supernatural. My hair is kind of crazy mess. Um, fun, easy summer look. I will do a before and after picture and post that as well, so you guys can see um, really see the difference. So anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful Sunday and that you relax and enjoy. And now that I'm all done up, I'm probably going to take my makeup off and go to the pool or the beach and enjoy the sunshine down here. Um, anyway, hope everyone's good. Have a good day. See ya.